uh, Rohan Leher, huh? Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, actually, I had created this two or three days before, and it is visible in this screen. But mm -hmm. yesterday, I created uh, same customer list, like, like six or seven customers I entered in this list. But uh, I'm not uh, able to see that customer. So I have already got the points mm -hmm. after adding the customers, like after saving the customers. But uh, it is not there in the list. So I cleared all filters also. There is no filter, I think. And I checked here in report. But I don't know what what is what was the mistake. But I'm not able to see the customer list here. The same way I created the supplier one, and it is sir, uh, it is there in the list. Aditya Industries Okay, interesting. Anyone else will have any help? How do we figure it out? In hello, sir. Yeah. In customer list, uh, try to remove the uh, all customer groups and all territories. Remove that. Okay. So what should I add here? Uh, no, uh, take it empty. Nothing. And other one also. But it is it is coming uh, by default, no? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ali, 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 Ali. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. No, it is visible. No, it's Tanisha yeah. creation. I had created lots of uh, customers. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. Great. So let us continue this uh, tradition in a way. Go ahead. So, uh, so, sir, I just, can I no. stop the sharing? Oh, no, just hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, you got one quiz question wrong, right? Which one was that? Uh, you remember? So I need to check. Sir, uh, yeah, you can go and review it. Yes. I think first one, I think. OK. So here, uh, the correct answer is 3,66,000. Now, can you just go and check finished goods warehouse? One minute, sir. I don't, don't close this. Uh, open a new tab or something. So we can check it later. Open a new tab. Is it the answer everybody's got? Should like sixty six thousand? Sir, uh, two three days before I had uh, for practice pers uh, perspective, I had one uh, entered one uh, uh, entry like ten lakh, and I think it will uh, it get automatically added in this. Okay, can you just check what was the problem? So where should I check that only? Can you just guide me? Yeah, so I'm just asking others. Uh, so others okay. have also got the same number, what she has got for warehouse. Just check against your warehouse. So you can open the warehouse again and just for everybody to see. So is this the same screen that you see, same values, or others have got some different values? Same value, sir. Same values? Yes. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. uh, so go back to your quiz. 
So I think I, uh, by mistake I selected uh, another option. I think in quiz. Achha, okay. So otherwise your uh, yes, values all, are correct. Yes. But what you entered in quiz yes, was sir. wrong. Okay. Fair enough. Then that's perfect. Now you understood what is finished code and yes. you must have added the code. Yes. Okay. Done. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so now you can stop sharing. Okay, sir. Thank you. So quizzes actually help us to figure out if there are any mistake, uh, either understanding or entering data. Okay. Now may I call upon Rishikesh to share his screen? Uh, yes, sir. Rishikesh, you also got one quiz question wrong. Do you know which one was that? Did you do check it back in the system? Yeah. Uh, sir. Uh, hello. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, before that, I want to ask a question. Sure. Uh, actually, uh, I am unable to log in, uh, but I am damn sure about my password, uh, but it is showing wrong. So I did forgot password. So it is asking me to set the password, but uh, I don't know how to uh, set the password. So. Um. Uh, means uh, by selecting default email account, I need to uh, set the password. So I don't know how to do that. Okay. Uh, can somebody help her? By the way, do you know your uh, uh, password for sure? I mean, yes, yes. Okay. Let me just uh, pass on user password to you on uh, Telegram. Let's check that that's the same thing. And it, it should be, let me just. I meanwhile. Okay, I'm unable to send that password to you. Is there a password? Okay. Uh, or just, no, it is not going through. Uh, can I share my screen once? Hold on. Uh, yes, let us do that. Okay. Is this visible? My hello? Yeah. So my password is this one. But this is a new I, one that you put in? Or? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, forgot password, then you can just do forgot password and put your email address. And yeah, let's come here and just reset password. No, it is saying please set, uh, set up default email account from set up email, email account. But I am not getting that set up email and email account here. Okay. okay. Uh, is Kupteshwar online? Can you just call uh, Gupteshwar, sir? And okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. We will be to help you in a second. Okay. Okay. Rishikesh, can you just share your screen, please? <coughs> Rishikesh? Uh, Rishikesh is not there, looks like. Uh, Sumit, would you like to share your screen? Uh, yes, sir. But, sir, uh, I can pass a little bit. Uh, I'm confusing that one remaining. Sorry, I didn't hear you. So you got something wrong in quiz, right? So you don't know what is what went wrong in quiz? Yes, sir. That's. Uh, I got that. 
first staff presentation. Okay, so your uh, yeah. can you go to balance sheet? Yeah, just go down. Uh, can you go down? Yeah, so your stock in hand is 3,66,000 uh, and your temporary opening is not yet zero. It's 634,000. So, uh, so do you know what was wrong? I mean, what mistake did you do to kind of know that? Could you figure it out? Sumit? Yeah, so uh, could you figure out what are the issue? Uh, your setup is not complete. Temporary opening is not zero yet. So did you miss any entries? Sir, so second one task is remaining, sir. Uh, because I'm not uh, able to do so. Uh, in stock reconciliation, I'm waiting six months. Uh, but uh, in uh, I multiply all these things, uh, it, it it goes to three lakh seventy two thousand seventy seven fifty. Okay, can you show your stock reconciliation? Oh, okay, we have cancelled a couple of them and. Okay, you may want to just delete all transactions and redo the whole thing again because I think there are quite a few things which I got messed up in the process. Right? So, either you can correct them one by one or uh, clear all the transactions and then uh, you know start from there. There are only three four interests that you need to do, so it's fine. I mean, it, that's how you learn, but maybe you want to uh, clear, clean it up first and then start entry again. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Ravi, are you there? Ravi? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you share your screen? Okay, sir. Hello, sir. Hi, yeah. Share it, please share your screen. System. You got one uh, quiz question wrong. Uh, so just open the screen and see what went wrong. Sir, uh, screen uh, hang ho gaye, sir. Meri. एक बार मुझे रिकनेक्ट करना पड़ेगा सर चलो ठीक है एंटायर स्क्रीन हो नहीं हो रही ठीक है ठीक है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं नॉट अ इशू वन मिनट नहीं टेक योर टाइम मेन वाइल आई विल जस्ट पास अनिरुद्ध टू शेयर इज स्क्रीन अनिरुद्ध कैन यू शेयर योर स्क्रीन हां सर ठीक Ajay, do you remember which was which question went wrong for you? Most of the question was wrong. Sorry? Most of the question wrong hai mere. Ha, so can you just the, check? Uh, can you just check in the quiz what is wrong? Uh, go to quiz 4. We are not we are looking at quiz 4. Quiz four. Quiz four. Quiz four in here. In ERP next course, please go to quiz number four.
just review your uh, answers just go to review yes all is also okay correct okay uh ha huh. which value do you see for the balance value for laptop uh, so now uh, can you go to the stock ledger and see did you get it wrong or uh, it is wrong there स्क्रीन Did we see Rishikesh screen? Rishikesh, are you there now? Rishikesh. Rishikesh. Yeah, Rishikesh. Uh, can you share your screen? Yeah, I got one question wrong about I think again stock ledger laptop. Can uh, share your screen? Can you just we can look at uh, stock ledger directly? Yeah, is your screen is visible? Yes, your screen is visible. This is stock ledger. And check out the value for laptop. It is one lakh twenty thousand, right? Balance value. Now go to the quiz. Did you enter something different there? some problem there uh Okay, uh, Rishikesh, you can uh, try it later. But I guess what you do do is that your uh, system values are correct, but you enter the wrong value there uh, in the quiz. That's the reason you got that answer wrong. Yeah. So fine. We wanted to check whether the system values are correct or not. Perfectly fine. You can stop sharing the screen. So the quiz is there basically to verify whether what you are doing is correct or not. That's why we are looking at the quiz. Is Ravi back here? Yes, sir. One minute. Yeah, can you can you share your screen? Yeah. 
Is my screen visible or not, sir? Yes, your screen is visible. Uh, just go to the balance sheet quickly. Okay, one minute. Yes, sir. Balance sheet. Uh, look at the stock in hand values. Yes, three lakh seventy fifty. Yeah, here we have put ten lakh rupees. What is that you see here? Three lakh seventy two thousand. Okay, so you enter the wrong value in the quiz. Yes, sir. Okay, fair enough. So your system is okay. We can, yeah, then we can close. Okay. Now, okay, thank you. Uh, now let me uh, invite last person, Ashish. Okay, thank you, sir. Yep, thank you. Ashish, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, you have shown total income wrong. So just go back. Uh, either you can check out both quiz. Whether you enter something wrongly in quiz or yes, I think uh, I've entered wrong. Something wrong, sir. Just a second. Uh, let me share, share my screen. Yeah, yeah share your screen. Uh, yeah. profit, profit and loss profit statement, right, sir? Is my screen screen visible? Yeah, yeah, your screen is visible. Yes. Your total income yes. here looks zero. Yeah. But in this case, you but, mentioned ten uh, lakh. I I mentioned it ten lakhs there. So it is it is zero. Okay. Yes, sir. Because the reason is it's zero because we are not doing sales transaction. That's yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so since you wanted last time to share the screen and do the work, uh, okay. can you just continue and we'll use your screen to do today's work? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Fine. Yeah. So today we are going to uh, GST setting. So I sent a link in uh, uh, in Telegram. Did you get a chance to look at it? Did anybody read that article? Just raise your hand if you read the article. It was something like a five steps to automate GST. So I sent that in the Telegram. I think last two days back. So please raise your hand if you already read that article. Okay, no surprise here. Okay, so can you just open that article, Ashish? Uh, I need to. Okay, just do one thing. Google uh, Google ERP Next GST five steps something like that. ERP Next GST five steps. Yeah, is this sector? Yeah, you are good. First five steps to automate Indian GST in ERP. Next. Yeah. So we're going to follow this uh, article essentially. Okay. So obviously, you can, I urge you to kind of read it later. So classification of GST and all that. We're not getting to that right now. We'll just follow the steps, whatever is mentioned here. So while Ashish is doing those steps in his uh, screen, I will provide some commentary whenever required. But please stop Ashish if you are not sure what exactly is doing or if you feel he's doing something wrong. Right. So please watch it uh, carefully. Uh, and once once he does it, will give you some time for you to do it in your screen also, in your system also. Yes. yes. So I think the first is update your companies and client list. So just go down. I think you can just uh, start following it. So first is step one, update addresses. So you should go to a company address and put it in Maharashtra, in Pune, Maharashtra. So that you could do first. So go to our company, enter company address. Uh, so others, those who are familiar with ERP Linux, should uh, help him. Where do we get? Where can we put company address? 
and we'll go to the company list type company list yeah. select that one check here below scroll down company info i think new address So, yeah. So, what is important here is the state here, but you put uh, essential fields, mandatory yeah. fields. Only. Address line one is also essential. Shown here. And, uh, ah, I think that's good enough. Yeah. And then GST state is there. I guess that uh, there you have to put uh, Maharashtra. I think that should be okay with this. Yeah, save this. Yeah, so we got uh, that part done. Uh, okay. Uh, now, what we'll do, we'll also need to do it for the. Uh, for uh, customers, so obviously we're not going to doing for all customers. What I suggest is do it for customer zero one and customer zero six. So just do it for customer zero one and customer zero six. Aja, in your case, you can pick up any one here. Yeah. So customer zero one, you already put it as a address. Okay, so you just uh, update the address, check whether GST state is uh, Pune, uh, Maharashtra. The address there, right? Then it to you just put the random address. That's yes, yes. Uh, the most important thing is for the GST that make it Maharashtra. And for customer 06, which you can pick up anyone, but yeah. ensure that you pick up some other state, not Maharashtra. So that will have some out of state uh, kind of thing. We need to put it. Other than Maharashtra, so other than Maharashtra. Great. So this is done. Step one is I think complete. Right. Let's look at what is step two. Step two is configure a GST account. You just read it. Once you have updated your ad address master, it's time to let the system know which accounts you want to use for GST taxation. So configure from the search bar, type GST settings and enter your GST accounts as per required. Okay. Yes, so you can do that now. Uh, others, if you are doing it parallelly, you can do that parallelly also. I guess at this speed you can catch up. But we'll give you some time to uh, catch up with me. Uh, 
Now you have to do this add row. Just a second. Here. Yeah. And for uh, CGST account, you just type CGST. CGST. Okay, it is there, right? So we will do the SGST. That's okay. Since, since we don't, I don't need to be happy. Okay. You can save this now. Just verify that the same thing that you see there is here. Just check the article and yeah. that's the whole thing that we did, right? Okay. So we're done with step two also. Now let's go to step three. Item wise, GST setup to let the system know what tax accounts and tax rates are applicable on your goods and services create multiple item tax templates and assign it to its respective item um, item master now what we will do here they have shown the example of gst 12% uh, we will do it uh, for gst 18% all our three uh, items laptop desktop that is what we will to sell uh, will be using gst 18% it is 18% gst if you remember the items 18% So let us go ahead and create an item text template. Item text template for GST 18%. Yeah. yeah, go ahead and search for item text template. Item text template list. Template list. Uh, we already have something out here. Let's see. Uh, just check it out whether it is sufficient. So just check it instead GST. Is it click on the instead GST? Is it helping us? We have got yeah, it is there. SGST entry pass nine percent nine percent. Yeah. I think this is what we already have. Um, yeah. Just go back to the article again. What are you saying otherwise? Go back to the article. This article. Yeah, this is the article. Okay. Uh, so we have to do it like this, right? So let us create one. Uh, CGST. I think we have to, you got it done. Huh? Instead of six six, we have to do nine 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 eighteen. And we'll create as a twelve percent. This item tax template. So we have to create GST eighteen percent. This item tax template. Did you get it? About to create. Okay. Do we have to add new row? Yeah, you come out to the item. Under. Create no, no, don't create it. Keep it like that. We we'll use item. We will create a new one. New item text. Okay. Uh, this one, sir. Yes. Let us call it GST eighteen percent. Yes, and then you create. Uh, CGST that is uh, nine percent. Okay. In the next column, you go for uh, SGST that is nine, and then IGST will be eighteen. Is it on? Yeah, just check it against what we see there. Is it safe? What is what is shown in the article? Yeah, CGST, SGST, IGST, and we have put 9918. Okay, now we need to go for an item and put it in the item text. Link. So let us do it for text off first. Uh, a list of items, sir. Items, items. You have to go yes. for item first. So it will always be item list, not list of items. Yes. Uh, okay, now you have a laptop or you have something else? Uh, no, I have uh, put to my own. Okay, so pick up whichever you have, uh, for which you have an inventory. We have some numbers, right? Yeah. That you can take. 
You have inventory here, right? Ten. How much? How much you have? Yes, ten. Eight. Ten. I have. Uh, I have uh, used your number, sir, from the text and shift, but okay. my. So, account. so pick up the one which has inventory is five. And the five. valuation is twenty-four thousand. Yeah, this is it. Twenty-four thousand is the valuation. Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Now you go ahead and uh, look at item tax complete. In this, I guess there there will be some way to do the item tax within that item. Sally, can you help? Somewhere you see item. I think it's further down here. Yeah. Item uh, tax standard should be there, right? Down sir. Uh, yes, sir. But we need to set that item tax template. I think. Yeah. Uh, in so settings. Go down. Go, go down. Must be somewhere. Go down. Item tax. Ah, that one. Item tax. Now go ahead and add. Now we got item tax table that is GST eighteen percent. Yes. Tax category. Oh, mm, tax category. Okay. Uh, just check it on the article. What they have done? Nothing, right? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go. So similarly, we just save it. Yes, we got this for uh, laptop. Uh, similarly, other two items also you have to put eighteen percent as a tax. Okay. Whatever you have equivalent of that, laptop, uh, pen drive, uh, portable drive, and three products that we have. Can you yes, sir. Yeah. For all three products, just put that item tax. Eighteen percent only. Yeah, same same template. Yeah, now we put the template. Right? Now we are coming to step three now. Yes. Now let us do this step four. Uh, I'll just just wait for a minute. Uh, let us take a quick pause. So how many of you have already done this? Please raise your hand if you have finished up to step three. Others, please raise your hand. Vananjay is done. Perfect. Vishal is done. Let us wait uh, for others. Let us take a one minute pause. Ninja actually have done so far. Others, please catch up. I mean, we are following the same article that you can also put to your system and start doing it. If you have any difficulty, obviously ask us. Okay, we'll start with step four, step five, and then we'll take a five minutes pause for everybody to do it. Yeah. So, Ashish, can we can resume now? Yeah. Step four. Create two tax category and uh, of a uh, source that same as your company's address with. One as in a state. Okay. So create two tax categories first. Same as uh, company's name. No, no, no. Out state, state and in state, right? Yeah. Out state and in state. Uh, edit in full page, sir. Yeah, just check what just is there. Save. In there. Yeah, you can save it. Okay. And source state you said Maharashtra.
instead of money. Yeah, that's perfect. And then you save it. And second is out straight, right? We need to check yeah. is yeah. interested. Ah, okay. So just go there. Yeah. A, again, you say source trace is Maharashtra, but there's a tick down there. You say yes, sir. We need to do it for our company's address, right? Yeah, so source trace is Maharashtra. Yeah. Yeah. And then you click on that is interested. Yeah, save. I'll check whether this thing still looks same. Text category. You see something different here, right? This. I think it's just that uh, the view is almost same. Uh, name, title, name is coming again. Yes, sir. But we have done the tick marks. I think we know what we have done. It's interesting. So it's interested uh, is what we did for out state. I think that's good. Now, the last step configure your invoice templates. So, we have to create two tax, uh, sales and tax, and sales tax and charges template, and two purchase tax and charges template with different tax categories. So, uh, and you have to put all the values zero because we'll be pulling the values from the item. So, uh, can you just do that? Okay, yeah. Oh, sales. Tax and uh, charges. Not permitted to view sales tax. Sir, okay. this is coming here, sir. Okay, just go to the sales model, selling model. Uh, go to the sales model. Uh, where, so, uh, here um, we have accounting, right? We are finished yeah. accounting. Just go okay. to the T, click on that. T. Uh, go to selling left left hand side column. You go on selling here, yeah. Just go down. Yeah, here you see the sales tax and this thing. Here, sir? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, click on that. Oops. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Mm. Sir, I think this, uh, the problem is... Yeah, so just getting the same message. Yeah. Insufficient permission is what... Uh, yes, sir. I, I earlier also was having that uh, error, sir. So we had to delete that my account which I had created separately. Okay. Uh, is Uttishwar there? On the... Yes, yes. Uh, Uttishwar, is it because administrative access is required for this? Mm, just checking that. Uh, sir, I'm getting one. Uh, notification like uh, not permitted to view sales taxes and charges template. Yes, yes, I think we're also getting it. I think Vaishali also said she got it the same way. Dhanaji also got the same way. So looks like, uh, yeah, Rahul is in the permission. So it looks like that is a common error everyone is getting. Just say whether we can do purchase. I mean, it should not happen there also, but just check it out. Whether you can do selling, uh, sorry, in purchase, you can go ahead and look at the purchase. Access and this thing. 
purchase the purchase a bind. Go to the bind. Bind. Uh, go down. Purchase yeah. Purchase tax and here tax system. Yeah. So same problem there. Okay. Uh, go back to the article. Just see uh, what are the other things that we should do. So we need to create these uh, four things. You know, not of it, not of it. So just, just go down. Okay. So what we'll do, we will, uh, I guess, uh, we will not able to create invoice because of that. So we'll resolve that issue. We'll see what process process we do. All of you. So uh, till then, uh, let us go ahead with the sales cycle. So uh, I guess we'll need some other volunteer now. So who will come as volunteer now? No. Ashish has done this. So Vaishali, okay, Vaishali, uh, did you raise hand for this or something else? Vaishali, did you raise hand for uh, voluntary? No. Yeah, if I can hold it. Okay, great. So you can share your screen. Uh, Ashish, thank you. Uh, you can stop sharing. Yes. <coughs> so Vaishali, have you downloaded that? Uh, Sales uh, data file, Excel file. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. You can open that and then actually start with it. Yeah. So, is it visible? Yeah. Just give me a minute to explain what we need to be doing here. So first of all, we'll need to create a price list. We'll create a price list. Price list is basically helps us to uh, give different prices to different uh, segments. So we have got this uh, platinum, gold, and silver three segments. So we'll give, and they're in India, so country and segments, or or territory, or territory segment. You can do that price list. Anyway, the prices will be different for different countries because in India, the rupee is in US dollar and so on. Plus for the Segment, special segment, we can do different prices. So if we can go down, you will see item price list. We have platinum, 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 uh, three products that we have, and then we are giving some different price rates. Obviously, there are different products, but for the gold, if you compare gold uh, PD and platinum PD, that is total price. For platinum, we are giving 8400, for gold, we are giving 8500, so a little more. Because platinum is our frequent buyer. Silver, similarly, if you see, it is a six cents. The price is higher for silver. So uh, that is how we are going. Again, we have services also. For services also, we have. By the way, we missed to do item tax template for services. We'll do that later. But that is something we need to do. There are also item percent tax that we need to. So we have got this 500, 550, 600. So this is how we have done the price list. And then we have got one order from customer one which is for one laptop and one desktop, which is there in India. We just sell it from the inventory. We have a finished good warehouse. We have got enough laptop and desktop. So we sell from there. And for, uh, for customer six, we want 100 hours of software service. So there's no inventory, it's a service. So we just sell 100 hours of software service. Now, uh, here we're looking at the, the flow. Where it shows that for customer will first create opportunity, uh, then for opportunity will create location, then we create a sales order, then delivery note, then sales invoice and payment. Uh, just understand what is happening here. Uh, anytime um, you make a sale, it doesn't happen in the air, right? Your sales guys are going around talking to people and see some opportunities. And you may some see some hundred opportunities. Uh, but out of that, maybe 10 materialize, 9 materialize, 5 materialize, out of the 20 materialize. When say materialize, we also give some quotation. So they say, okay, give us a quotation. So we prepare and send the quotation. 
first they approve the potassium, then we need to prepare cell solder. So we basically put a cell solder in our system so that now uh, people know that okay, now we need to deliver. So somebody will make make a delivery note and send it across. Once you deliver it, you send the bill. We use the term bill for normal scenarios. But, uh, in ERP context, we call it a sales invoice. So when you raise sales invoice, we are actually recognizing it as a revenue. So now you remember all those terms we talked about. So sales invoice is equivalent to raising sales, uh, recognizing revenue. Now once you give it, you know, payment will not come immediately, payment will come to some point. So whenever they get a payment, you will make a payment entry in account. So that is how we are going to do it. So the first thing is to obviously do with price list and then the item price list. So eventually can you proceed? When we, when we were we facing the challenge, uh, uh, the cycle sales and taxes, uh, sales taxes and charges template read issue. Here we are waiting. Uh, but I am logged in as Ashish Rathod into his account. I am able to read that. But I am also getting the same error. I think uh, we need to set that role, uh, lo roles and permission setting. That permission is already granted. I mean, there is no need to because right now I am in this page and logged in as Ashish Ratford. Do we need to reload this again? Have you changed any permission? No, no, I did not change. I, I was just checking what's happening. Okay. But we are getting the result. So, Teshwar, can we check uh, with Sile or Vaishali's login? No, this is yeah, my yeah. login. Yeah, I will try. Okay. Yes. Sir, by default, uh, company law access my yeah. Yeah. Yes, which, which are the Navin version of the guy change the character. Okay. Put a watch to the song. Nice, sir. Me, my custom, my, me, my own company created. Can you do Or it is mala ahe access. Company change for them. By default, company level me transition create kar pa sir. Or the access mai ya. Okay. Me default company set ke liye it. Pan maji tar navi na chahe. Pan tarhi mala to se rakhte. Default company la error hai toh ekko? Nee, default la nahi hai the. Ha, manje default la chhe. Kela pani hai toh? Ani index trans manje jis ahe already kela pani hai toh. Strangely, me aata tumche account la logged in hai. Ani tumche user net logged in hai. Ani I can see sales tax and charges template. Sir, Maja login la pan same error message to Not Log permitted to view. Kiva incognito mode ma kiva dusra kutla browser ma check kuru I'm not sure ka issue hai. Pan malatari the I'm I'm allowed to go inside. Kiva uh, are you using the Chrome na? Chrome hai na? Ah, Chrome hai. Yes, sir. To issue reproduce hot nahi hai. Okay, so Directly new ke lete ita. Beta. Hmm. 
मला दोन्ही ऍक्सेस आहे आता सध्या तुमच्याच लॉग इन मध्ये आहे मी आय कॅन ऍक्सेस बोथ परचेस टॅक्स चार्जेस आता इथे क्लिक करा सेल्स टॅक्स चार्जेस टेम्पलेट मध्ये ब्रेड कम मध्ये न्यू ला केले तर अलाउ करते ते आणि आता ते ब्रेड कम करती वरती जाऊन पाच दिसतो ना हा तिकडे हा तिथे क्लिक करा प्लीज ला परमिशन नाही आहे आय थिंक न्यू क्रिएशन ला अलाउ करते असं काय आहे का इनकॉग्निटो मोड मध्ये पण ओपन करा होऊन जाईल ओके ओके ते कॅशे किंवा कसला तरी इश्यू असेल आय डोंट नो पण असं का होत माहित नाही स्ट्रेंज सर्विसेस I guess an item this is services so ashish and others uh, we missed that item services it's not services there is i guess i should be not services i think is uh, service sw so uh, uh, so what i would uh, what i will suggest is ki ek item ek customer एक टेम्पलेट आणि एक कॅटेगरी बाकीच बाकीच देन दे कॅन डू दॅट बिकॉज ते सगळं झाल्यानंतर ते ऑटोमॅटिकली इन व्हॉइस फॉर फेच ओर नाही वॉट इज एक्सपेक्टेड एकदा रन झालं की देन यु नो की कुठं कुठं काय जाऊन सेट करायचं थर्टी so if we go back to the excel uh, you will see that is a price list let us finish that and then this part can be done later on. price list okay. not item price list direct price first price list कंट्री इंडिया 
or we can issue it like India. India. Uh, okay. This is for selling. I... So you have to say selling. So this is selling. And done. Okay. Similarly, do it for gold and platinum, gold and silver. So do it for more gold and silver. It's selling. Country India. Thirty Yes. So all our uh, price list are done. Now we will create an item uh, price list. Eight thousand four hundred. Yeah. Same. The second one you can take black. Pretty we already done. Mm, okay. Gold. You want to do pretty platinum no, gold, okay. That is eight thousand five hundred. And then pretty silver is eight thousand six hundred. For gold is thirty seven thousand. At fifty for silver is thirty eight thousand. Silver is thirty thousand. Let us do for service also. Service platinum is five hundred. Service is the is the support. Platinum is five hundred. Got this price list also done. Now we'll get into flow. 
So we are opportunity we got from customer zero one for one laptop and one desktop. And uh, let us assume there is a very successful opportunity. We got an opportunity and then we got uh, to create a quotation, sales order, delivery, everything. So let us start with the customer. You can open that customer, uh, customer zero one. And see whether we can create uh, yeah. It's both in my case. Yeah. Okay. And then there we need to create an opportunity. So there is a pre-sales opportunity. Yes. We could do the plus sign there. Okay. So opportunity from you can drop down customer. Because we already have different customers. Customer is customer zero or whatever that name you give. The opportunity could be from customer or a lead. So we just type select customer there. And then the last for a customer. So that I guess is bother. Yes. Okay. So uh, the opportunity type is sales and all that. So this is I think okay. So this is what you create opportunity. Now we can save this. There is obviously more to it, but right now we just follow a sequence. So we save this now. And when you save this, you see that there is a create button here. Create, last, close or something. So create, you click on there, it gives an option to create a quotation. We are jumping. From portion to quotation area. and in there you will see that uh, the fields are kind of pre-filled quotation to customer customer name is bob so all these kind of filled in for us uh, this is a new quotation uh, you can just go down and see whether we can do a quotation so yes we have a company and price list currency and power price list yeah so we can use this this is yeah, so we will use a price list. This is a platinum customer. Right? So we use a platinum price list. And then let us put the item code one desktop and one laptop is what we are buying. What we are selling to them. Laptop, so I think it must be LT. We're just buying one now. The price has come directly, like 36,000. That okay. has come because it has come from the price list. And they will add one more uh, extra. And we say one extra. Yes. And the price has come directly, so that is done. And we can save this. Uh, just go down and check whether we have to enter taxes and charges. Just go down. Yes, there is a taxation. So, uh, we already put that. Yes, so now you see this. We have put that sales tax and charges. On net total, we have put this one. The rates have come. Category somewhere we have to put in. Let's see, category. That's category. Where is category? Uh, I just go up at the tax category. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is instead. We have put that instead. This customer 01 is a Maharashtra, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, is there any way to uh, print this? I think we can create a PDF file of it. We have got a later header. Cool. So let us check whether it is coming correctly. Okay. Uh, we have to calculate whether taxes are coming at eighteen percent or not. But in my case, IGST is also showing. IGST is also showing. That is where I am worried. IGST is also showing. So uh, it is sixty-four percent. So it is eighteen percent of that. 
So that is it. Still getting IGS is the only problem that we have there. Let us go back and see whether we got this text category correct. I guess we need to create that uh, cells uh, template. Without that, I don't think the link will be there. Oh, okay. So I guess we need to go and do that. But without that, this will not go ahead. So <laughs> I guess by now everybody started realizing that it is not as simple as like in ERP. Yes, uh, you need to refer to that article. Yeah, we have to configure the inverse templates. HGST, CGST. Uh, now I think we have to put rate as zero, not nine, because uh, this rate will come from uh, item tax. So here we can put it. Zero. So we can save this, and now we need to create a new one uh, for out state. Save this. What are these options? Uh, uh, so this is on. So how do we apply the tax? So it's on net total. So okay. on previous row, suppose you have multiple uh, taxes, then you need to have all these things depending on what uh, what is the basis for the tax. Basically. So in GST is on net. Total. In Excel and all that is to be a little more complex. Okay. So now, in our case, is on net total only you apply for it. On, what about on item quantity? Sometimes uh, GST rate differs no, for GST. Uh, GST is only on total, but there okay. are different types of taxes as well. So there we uh, the basis will be different. Different basis on the quantity. Sometimes uh, based on some other uh, like previous row amount or previous row total, there is to be some taxation. So uh, earlier the taxation is to be very complex. Now the GST things are simple. So now we just have on net total and we are done. Otherwise, earlier there is to be many taxes, uh, particularly if you are in a different tax zone, then there is to be different taxes. So that is sim got simplified. Okay. So right now we only need on net total. Yeah, just 
you did zero only, you know, to check it out. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So now let us go back to our uh, opportunity quotation level. Quotation list. Now, uh, from where we have to keep the Do we need to delete it manually or? No, no, I think what we suggest is we'll delete uh, this record altogether. Okay. And create a new record. We have not deleted this. We have not submitted it, so we can safely delete it. Now, create a quotation or go to opportunity from there you create quotation. That would be faster. So here we need to enter all the details. Log. Do one thing, do one thing. Go, go back to the opportunity and create from the opportunity. The reason okay. is, uh, right now we don't have a way to link it. Okay. This uh, opportunity is, quotation is for which opportunity. So go to opportunity. Yes, I can see this. Opportunity will be in CRM. Or you can just search for opportunity. It shows the open right now. Now from here you create quotation. So you get all the data field and there's a link that can be established between the quotation and opportunity. Okay. Now we come to currency and price list. If I uh, create a quotation directly, uh, whether I will be able to uh, connect it, uh, link it to earlier uh, any opportunity? Uh, is there poss any possibility or we have to follow the same sequence? Uh, follow the same sequence guarantees it that it happens. I guess from quotation uh, we should be able to we just... I, I'm not so sure about it, whether it could happen. We need oh. to check it out. Okay. But with, particularly between customer, I mean, opportunity and quotation. For others you can always get it. That should not be a problem. You can go back and make the changes. For example, when we created customer, from customer we created the uh, opportunity. In opportunity, if you create directly, you can select a customer. So that way, anyway, gets linked. But when you create a quotation from opportunity, you don't get that field from this thing. So that's the only reason why uh, we should do it from oh, okay. this And that's a process that we typically tell people to follow as it is. Okay. Uh, currency and price list. Yeah, we should look at it. Select, uh, Still, it is coming. I like, so you select the uh, sales tax and template. Oh, okay. Select category. Text category and category. I think templates good enough. Just select the template. Here? Yeah, template, template, template. Below, below that. Okay, below that. Hmm. It has now taken care of it. Yes. Yeah. Now just print it. Just check whether it is perfect. I wait on. Total. It is not coming correctly. Uh, no. Okay. It's oh, a is... uh, uh, invoice total. It is showing or what? Including tax. Yeah. Let us look at the PDF. I think that. Would be okay. You can go save this once. You can do it. You'll be at 36,500. That is 64,000. Is that correct? Can you just uh, somebody do the calculation, please? Verify whether it is coming correctly. I mean, we should not be <laughs> verifying it that much. But just since we are learning, we should take. Hello. Yeah. Uh, sir, my gross total is um, seventy thousand nine eighty, and Maybe? my invoice total is seventeen thousand seven. And uh, GST amount showing 
Okay, it must have picked up some different values. I think I guess somewhere uh, configuring GST. Yeah, it has gone wrong. So that uh, did you use GST eighteen percent template? I did you use nine percent, nine percent there. If you put six six twelve, then I think that is what you have got. Don't mind. Need to check. Just check that GST. Just check for the template. Item text them. That is it. Okay. Uh, just a quick check. How many have you done this correctly so far? Raise your hand. Hello, sir. Yes. Yeah, sir. Uh, in item price list, I was getting my items which I already fitted there. So, do I need to add other uh, items to? Uh, feed you a value, sir. Uh, so Ashish, I think you uh, you have different items, right? Yes, yes, and uh, with different prices also. So I was okay. getting I was getting that list of uh, item price list of which I. Okay, you use some different item price list. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, should not be an issue, but you should have to figure it out yourself then whether it is correct or not. Yeah, so. That is the only challenge, or you could. Uh, Change to the what is given the Excel, okay, and then okay. verify. Okay. Then I think I need to uh, put all the Excel. Ah, put Excel. the Excel numbers. You can use whatever yes. text. I mean, the names of products will be different. It is okay even if you sell uh, Tata Safari at twenty four thousand. Okay. Yeah. But uh, you know uh, that you know what is the when you say Tata Safari, we are actually referring to uh, something yes. different. Yeah. yeah. So that that only thing that we need to worry about. But otherwise, yeah. we should get the numbers correct. Because when you give this number five now, you will uh, entering this digits. Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, we have five minutes to go. Uh, so actually, can you go back to that Excel? Okay. So uh, we have just shown you how do we do that. Right? Create. So once you Create a quotation. You get drop down. Create and it creates a. So opportunity go to quotation. Then you from quotation you can create sales order and so on. Uh, we will now show you how to create a sales order. Uh, but then getting a delivery note, sales invoice, and payment into should be pretty straightforward. Not so easy, but uh, we can give a try. So what we'll do? Last thing we'll do today is we'll create a sales order. And the difficult part of it is the tax rate configuration, which we have done. So I hope that uh, should be useful, and you should be able to do this sales flow complete. Uh, I, what I want you to give a try, and on Monday we will kind of check everybody's like, 
So please check your numbers before you submit. Huh? So we have done this here with here. Now we just see create somewhere. And to create, we create, create a sales order. So, yes. Now the advantage of that is that first of all, there's a link that gets established. Plus all the data comes correctly. Okay. So only thing we have to perhaps give a delivery date. Yes. Uh, and just go down and you will see that uh, things have come up properly. Okay. So if you do the quotation correct, then this thing should just flow in. You don't need to do it again. So just go down to check whether things are correct. What if I, if I want to give a discount, whether I should uh, put it in quotation or in sales order, I can give a discount. OK, so uh, for the timing, you will not give discount. But yes, you oh. could. Uh, actually, the best way to give discount is to apply pricing loop. But okay. it will not complicate right now. But or you can give adopt discount. This just like that. It is on discount. Uh, but a better way is to do the user pricing uh, so that it becomes mm -hmm. consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but anyway, for the time being, we'll not uh, change anything. So just go down. We'll just verify things are properly done. No, here it is showing IGST. Oh, oh, oh. I just uh, just save this once and, check. and we'll check the PDF. This is sales order. This is so I just here again. Oh. Okay. Uh, go back. Let us see what the problem is. Uh, just go down. Did we check the in state? That's category and all that. Price list, check the price list. Is it properly fluid? Yeah, it is better. That's right. Uh, then go down. And there is a taxes and charges. Just select tax. Uh, it is here in GST. It's correct. In state GST. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, just select uh, this is other uh, text template, sales and text template. We created different. Our template is in state only, not GST. I just change that. Uh, no, no. Select. Uh, uh, yes, this is our. Um, in state. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. How do we get that there when we get it changed? It should uh, come by default. It should come, yeah. It didn't go it properly. There it was. It is not capturing correctly. It should be in state. Yeah. yeah. So it is not captured correctly. We'll see what's the issue there. It should have got it. So we can't just blindly follow it. I think we need to verify it uh, when we are flowing it. It should be flowing correctly. We'll check what was the problem. But I guess when we are doing this flow, we should be careful that we are not blindly following it. Good. You can save it and check uh, the sales order. How does it look like? And then we can submit. Okay. Uh, submit. Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Submit. Say yes. 
uh, and then just say create what you see in create there. Okay, you got some points. Just see what you get in create. So now you get many things. I guess next thing is to deliver now. So anyway, we'll not do that now. It's already eleven. But you got the point. So what I want you to do, everyone, is at least come till sales invoice. I saw not sales invoice. Think sales order. Uh, those who are want to experiment can go ahead and go up to payment engine. Those who can go ahead with it. Uh, if you get struggle somewhere, you can stop wherever you are at or stop. You know, but try to do it on your own as soon as possible because you are exposed to your phoenix. Except those few people who are very new to your phoenix. But try to do it as much as possible. Uh, try to see whether you can go up to payment engine. Otherwise, uh, stay where you are, and we will see that in next session. Or more importantly, look at the text configuration very quickly. Yes. Shrikant, here also it is showing IGST in delivery note. Ah, uh, I think this uh, sales tax and charges template. We need to check. Through. No, but uh, right now uh, currently it is showing correct. Okay. Instead, which was uh, which I was selected in a sales order. Uh, ma'am, please check the. Uh, uh tax category it's blank okay uh you can save it once and then we'll take care of it okay. instead you have selected right now so save it and now go back and check mm, it is showing still there. Okay, I guess the some problem in the text configuration. Not too very good. Okay, so I think the challenge today's session is to look at the configuration, text configuration. Mm -hmm. okay. Everyone is getting same issue, or I am getting this issue. Anyone has tried? Yeah, what about others? Are you getting the same problem? Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me do a quick roll call and check where do you stand. So I just want to. So we know where Vaishali is. She has done up to. Uh, Uh, delivery note. Though we have a challenge with delivery note, so we're kind of stuck here. So there is no point in going ahead. Okay, this is not fixed, so we need to fix it. But she has reached the delivery note. Uh, Swati, where have you reached so far? Swati, are you there? Yeah. So where are you reached so far? Which uh, document did you create? Did you reach up to delivery note? Now, where are you reached? Have you finished text configuration? Have you item text template is created? What at what stage are you in? Which step are you in? Okay, fair enough. Item prices. That's good. Uh, Snehan, where are you reached? Nehal, yeah, where have you reached so far? Item price list. Okay, Anirudh. Ah, uh, still, ah, uh, अभी मैंने try नहीं किया मैं just check कर रहा था लेकिन वो मैं आज शाम तक complete कर दूँगा पूरा. Okay, ah, uh, Shubhangi. Item prices list five. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Saili. Uh, up to tax category. Okay, Rutulaj. Uh, item price list. Okay, Ashish. Sir, I'm editing the item price list. Okay. Yeah, I'm filling the Excel Excel values. Okay, yeah, that would help you. Yeah, Rishkesh, item price list. Okay. Ravi, yes, sir. Yeah, up to what stage have we reached? 
सर मैं अभी स्टार्ट करने वाला हूँ सर दूसरा टास्क अच्छा ठीक है सेलिंग सेलिंग सुमित सुमित इज नॉट एट रामकृष्ण ओके ओके मोनिका कैटेगरी राहुल ग्रुप I am not going to respond to any of these questions. Let me tell you. Uh, I want everyone because everybody is a different stage, right? So some have reached up to quotation, some have reached up to delivery note, some are there in the taxation and all that. So except the one or two who are at the front, I mean who are actually doing uh, near payment date or something, they may have a difficulty getting help. But others should get help. So if you are stuck in tax configuration, I am sure anybody from the group should be able to help you. So please post your messages uh, in the group. Uh, i will create a quiz assuming that you are done payment entry so those who are done payment entry can appear for the quiz if you are not they don't appear for the quiz we'll see how it goes but uh, not only um, post your messages but also help others in answering so don't wait for me to answer please uh, answer uh, others query that will help you to get clarified and uh, since i hope you know guys each other so you can even call each other and uh, Check with them. So you did not even use Telegram. You can simply call up and help them on phone. But please put it back uh, in the group saying that I had this issue. X Y Z call me up, explain me, and this is what I got now. So it will be helpful for us. So I really want to see some collaboration happening within the team here, uh, and then we should be able to do it. We will anyway do confirm it back in next session. But let us see whether we can do it collaboratively. Let us see whether we can, as a team, uh, work it out till payment date. Okay. So, with this hope, uh, let me close. Uh, any comment from the question, Kanaya? Mm, sorry, no, nothing at this point. Now, just we're just closing now. So, I'm giving kind of a ambitious uh, homework to everyone, saying that. Uh, This is a process GST configuration. This is a process that we see in Excel, the flow. Just try doing it without uh, facing any, ensuring we are making not making mistakes. Uh, and if any one of them get difficulty, let them ask in the group, uh, and let others also answer their question rather than I answer. Because I am sure people are at different stage. They can they can help each other. So I'm kind of giving a very ambitious homework to everyone. And okay. and that is possible only if people help each other. Then it is possible. That is true. Okay then. So uh, let me close the meeting now. And uh, please keep in, keep keep the please keep the group busy by asking questions and by answering questions. Okay. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.